The gas in this problem goes through an adiabatic compression to half its initial volume. For an adiabatic process, we know that PV to the gamma is a constant, so PI VI to the gamma equals PF VF to the gamma, where gamma is the ratio of specific heats, constant pressure to constant volume. We're told in this case that equals 1.30. Using the ideal gas law, we also know for an adiabatic process that TV to the gamma minus 1 is constant. We can use this relation to solve part A. The final temperature is the initial temperature times the ratio of volumes to the gamma minus 1. The initial volume is twice the final, so the ratio is 2. And when we calculate, we find the final temperature is 336 Kelvin. Part B asks us to find the final pressure after the compression. That equals the initial pressure times the ratio of the volumes to the gamma power. And substituting values shows us that it increases by a factor of 2.46. Part C asks for the final volume if, after this adiabatic compression, the gas is then cooled at constant pressure. We'll solve this part by writing the ideal gas law. First, for this cooled state, and then again for what was called the final state in parts A and B. If we take the ratio of these two ideal gas laws, the pressure is constant, so it cancels, and we can solve for the volume in this cooled state. It equals the final volume from parts A and B times the ratio of the temperatures. The final volume from parts A and B is half of the initial volume, the 1 liter. So we can substitute numbers and calculate, finding that the cooled volume is 0 0.406 liters.